Hello, aviation enthusiasts. Welcome back to Skyward Fighter. Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of the Northrop F-20 Tiger Shark, a fighter jet designed to be America's answer to the Soviet air threat, but one that ultimately never saw mass production. Let's explore why this aircraft, hailed as one of the best of its time, never took to the skies, the FX program and its origins. In the 1970s, the United States faced a growing Soviet air threat, prompting the creation of the FX program. This initiative aimed to provide America's allies with a capable fighter jet that could counter the Soviet MiGs without using top-secret technology that could compromise national security if captured. The result was the Northrop F-20 Tiger Shark, a remarkable light fighter that fit the bill perfectly. As author Steve Pace noted, it was one of the best fighters that never went into production. The F-20 Tiger Shark's Development The development of the F-20 began under the administration of President John F. Kennedy. The U.S. Department of Defense needed a cost-effective fighter for allies, which led to the selection of Northrop's F-5 Freedom Fighter in 1962. As the Soviet MiG threat grew, so did the need for an upgraded aircraft. By the late 1970s, the F-20 Tiger Shark, initially designated as the F-5G, emerged as a promising solution. The F-20 was designed to be a lightweight, agile fighter with advanced avionics and the capability to carry a wide range of weapons. It featured a more powerful engine, the General Electric F-404, which provided superior thrust and performance compared to its predecessor. This engine, combined with an advanced radar and modernized cockpit, made the F-20 a formidable adversary in air combat. One of the key selling points of the F-20 was its ease of maintenance and cost-effectiveness. The aircraft was designed to be easily operable by smaller air forces with limited budgets which was a critical factor in its intended role as an export fighter for U.S. allies. Additionally, the F-20 boasted a quick reaction time, with the capability to scramble and be airborne in just a few minutes, an advantage in rapid response scenarios. Despite its promising capabilities and competitive pricing, the F-20 faced significant challenges in the market. It entered an already crowded field of international fighter jets, including the more established F-16 Fighting Falcon, which had gained popularity among U.S. allies. Moreover, political and military decisions, such as the U.S. government's preference to sell the F-16 to allied nations, overshadowed the F-20's potential. The F-20 was a major evolution of the F-5E Tiger II. It featured a single, powerful General Electric F-404 engine, giving it 60% more thrust than its predecessor. This engine upgrade allowed the F-20 to reach speeds exceeding Mach 2 and climb rates of 52,800 feet per minute, making it a formidable opponent in the skies. In addition to the engine upgrade, the F-20 also received advancements in avionics and weapon systems. The aircraft was equipped with a modernized cockpit featuring a heads-up display, D multi-function displays, and a hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS control system, enhancing the pilot's situational awareness and ease of operation. The F-20's radar and avionics suite allowed it to carry a wide array of modern air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weaponry, including beyond visual range BVR missiles, making it capable of engaging multiple targets in various combat scenarios. Despite its impressive capabilities and favorable performance, the F-20 faced challenges in securing sales, primarily due to the geopolitical and economic considerations of the era. Competing against the already established and widely adopted F-16 Fighting Falcon, the F-20 struggled to find a foothold in the market. Additionally, shifting defense budgets and changing strategic priorities influenced the procurement decisions of potential buyers. Nonetheless, the F-20 remains a significant chapter in aviation history, showcasing Northrop's innovation in developing a lightweight, multi-role fighter jet with advanced capabilities. Design and Capabilities 
The F-20 retained the F-5E's wing profile, but introduced several key improvements, such as modified leading edge extensions that enhanced lift and performance. It also featured a new fly-by-wire system, composite materials, and an advanced avionics suite, including the multi-mode General Electric AN-APG-67 radar. The cockpit was completely redesigned, offering advanced controls and displays that significantly improved pilot situational awareness. The F-20 could carry a wide range of U.S. munitions, including air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-7 Sparrow, which even the F-16 couldn't fire until later years. The Challenges and Setbacks Despite its advanced features and competitive costs, the F-20 faced significant challenges. The U.S. Department of Defense imposed strict export controls, limiting potential sales. Additionally, the Air Force's lack of endorsement hampered its marketability. Northrop invested $1.2 billion in the project, but without a solid government backing, the F-20 struggled to gain traction internationally. Tragic accidents during demonstration flights also cast a shadow over the program, although the aircraft itself was cleared of any fault. The Legacy of the F-20 Tiger Shark Ultimately, the F-20 was a victim of timing and circumstance. It was introduced during an era when the F-16 Fighting Falcon, another versatile and cost-effective fighter, was gaining popularity. The Tiger Shark's potential was never fully realized, and the project was cancelled in 1986 after only three prototypes had been built. Aviation experts agree that the F-20 was an impressive aircraft, but it arrived at the wrong time. Its story serves as a fascinating chapter in the history of military aviation, reminding us of what might have been. Despite its short-lived production, the F-20 Tiger Shark left a lasting impression on the aviation community. Its advanced avionics, improved engine performance, and ease of maintenance set a new standard for fighter jets of its class. The aircraft was designed to be a low-cost, high-performance option for U.S. allies, offering a competitive alternative to more expensive and complex fighters. However, the success of the F-16, along with geopolitical factors and changing military priorities, overshadowed the F-20's market potential. In the years following the cancellation of the F-20 program, the aircraft continued to be a subject of study and admiration among aviation enthusiasts and historians. The Tiger Shark's design and capabilities were seen as ahead of their time, and it became a symbol of the potential and limitations of military aircraft development. The F-20's story highlights the challenges faced by defense contractors in navigating the complex landscape of international arms sales, technological advancements, and shifting defense strategies. Today, the F-20 Tiger Shark is remembered as a what-if scenario in the annals of aviation history. Its innovative features and the lessons learned from its development process have influenced subsequent aircraft designs. The F-20 remains a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of its creators, and it serves as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of military procurement and the ever-evolving requirements of modern air combat. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of the Northrop F-20 Tiger Shark. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Skyward Fighter for more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Until next time, keep your eyes on the sky.